Hey everyone, welcome to another Walnut Ridge Walkthrough Wednesday. Today one of the features that we're going to have is a brand new product to the Walnut Ridge family, the Trail Runner. This particular one is a Trail Runner 251 bunkhouse. Um, this thing is fully equipped. You have electric jacks on all four corners. Push buttons for these jacks are on the door side or the camp side if you will. So easy to operate, extend, retract. No more using the cranks to run those jacks down. Also, you have a power tongue jack as a part of this electric package on your level setup when you get to the campground, which again is another nice little feature there. Um, no more crank handles and those types of things. Uh, we also have a power awning on the outside of this 251 with a nice LED light lighting up and illuminating your campsite in the evening time, which is another great feature. And they've added these little LED lights that shine down um, on the ground below the camper. Just gives it a nice little ambiance, but also lights up the area getting in and out of the steps so you don't always have to put on the porch light. This is also equipped with outside speakers, so whatever our favorite station is, we can sit out the yawning around the campfire and listen to our favorite tunes. This has the solid step. A lot of products and competitors in this price point are giving us the fold-up steps that go up underneath the frame. This has the tailgate steps, if you will, that move up into the doorway. So we're always solid on the ground. Those are adjustable depending on the terrain we might be staying where it's not level. So each leg is independent. So for our fur family members, they can get in and out easily. Uh, grandma, grandpa, they go with this is something for them to get in and out easy as well. In addition to that, they've added this extend lend a hand grab handle, which is a nice little compliment. You got these great steps. Now we have an extended handle. Uh, so just easy in and out. Um, this also is equipped with an outside shower. It is on the back side of the camper. Again, uh, if we're camping out at the beach, you get the opportunity to do that. A nice little place to wash the sand off of our feet. Again, our furry family members, a nice little place to wash them off as well. Or if you like to fish, there's a place where you can clean our fish. So it's very versatile to have an outside shower um, option on these units. Also, we have, a 12, uh, we have a 110 plug in here on the door side, as well as the cable outlet. So if we want to take a little TV, we can set up underneath the awning on a table right there. We've got all the power to access and watch our favorite games, teams, race, whatever the case may be. Um, great features on this on the outside as well with the spare tire. A lot of these products in this price point will not bring in with the spare tire. This one does have that. Plus you are prepped for a backup camera on this unit as well. One thing I think we've gotten away from pointing out too on some of these products, if you notice the roof line up there, that roof line is domed. A lot of products, again, in this price point, they're giving you a flat roof. With a domed roof like that, then we know that the watershed is always running out to our gutters. We never develop low spots at the tops of our roofs, creating little bird baths or puddles where water can sit and eventually deteriorate and potentially cause some leaks. So again, um, great features in this price point in this introductory level coach. Let's go inside and take a look at some of these features. All right, guys, here we are in the inside of the Trail Runner 251BH that we currently have in our showroom. As you can see, some of the upgrades that uh, they've done with the interior in this, and we're seeing this trend really become predominant in the industry right now. This white, clean farmhouse look, everybody really seems to love that. One of the things they've done in this 251, being a non-slide unit, is that they removed the wall here. And they've offered us a privacy drape that divides this space from the rest of the coach. It leaves a nice, great, big, open feel that oftentimes can be really cramped by the time we put a wall and a door here. Difficult to get around the bed and make it, those types of things. So nice, open, airy floor plan and layout. Queen bed, nice little shelf up above here. On either side of the bed, if we can get a shot on that, we have cell phone chargers where we can lay our phones right on top of those chargers, charge those cells at night while we're sleeping. Uh, we've got these little cubby cutouts on either side of the bed, it's a place where we can put our wallets, our glasses at the end of the night. And then we've got the his and hers closets on either side of the bed. When you're looking out over into the living space, we have the jackknife sofa just as we come in. Uh, also, we'll fold down, make it into a little futon sleeping bed. Always your booth dinettes. Uh, we'll always pull down and make it into a bed for other guests as well. One of the things I like about this particular layout is how deep these booths are. Again, this is one of those little things where you'll see a lot of manufacturers cut corners is they narrow these booths um, and then we can't get four grown adults around the table. This one has a very large table and enough space for four uh, adults to sit together at the table. 
again, it has all the features from home. I mean, every camper is going to have pretty much the same thing with microwaves, range, ovens, double bowl sink, refrigerator. Um, that's pretty common in this. Uh, but a lot of products in this price point will uh, delete the oven and all we'll have is the range. So nothing is being skimped or nothing's being cut back um, in this particular introductory uh, level. Again, it's another thing too. You have a wash and rinse sink in your kitchen sink as opposed to the big open sink itself. Um, great cabinets. They've given us drawers in the kitchen as well for our utensils. A lot of times you'll find two panel doors down there. So very considerate again there as well. Also, um, our air conditioning is ducted throughout the entire coach. Another place where some of your manufacturers will cut some corners is that they'll just put in a drop-in AC unit like you typically find in a truck camper or a pop-up. So all the controls are at the ceiling, much like on the dash of your car when you're setting your AC. So when it's cold and you get cold enough, what do you do? You get up and you have to turn that down. This works off of a thermostat. So whether you have the drape closed up to the bedroom, the ducts run through the ceiling so the coach is evenly cooled and we're not cutting off any airflow when the AC is running on those hot summer days. Also, we have two big double over double bunks back here in the corner. So uh, as the kids grow, they're not really going to outgrow this space. Products in this price point are just giving us a bunk about the width of this wall right here. We're having these big double bunks. Smaller kids, we can put two to a bunk. We took an adult trip. We've got places for the grown-ups. And as the kids grow, they're not going to outgrow this space. Also in this area, we have a nice little pantry here. In addition to the, uh, right next to the refrigerator. In addition to all the storage that we already have in the kitchen. And then we have the bathroom. The bathroom gives us a tub shower. And they've also completed that tub shower with a nice tub shower surround. So there's no exposed wallboard. Uh, so we can keep that area clean um, and just a great location for your sink uh, place to hang your towels some storage up underneath that sink as well so hey uh, i think we've just about covered it but no matter what i say it's going to be totally different when you come out and look at it for yourself be able to sit down on the sofa sit around the booth see some of these products demoed for you by some of our great sales staff so we look forward to seeing you hope you enjoy this walkthrough wednesday we'll talk to you soon